There's no better time to be alive right now. We're alive during the time of a great controversy, and all of us have been called. Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Old Men in Chairs, but today it's going to be a little different. I'm not doing a music reaction, but I'm going to give a little report on a conference that I attended yesterday in Rochester, New York, the Truth and Wellness Conference. I had a number of great speakers, Mr. Stephen Kirsch, Mr. Jeffrey Tucker, and probably the most famous doctor in the world right now, Dr. Peter McCullough. And if you don't know him and his work, you really should. He was a cardiologist in Houston, Texas, one of the most published doctors in his field when COVID hit. He refused to believe that there was no suitable treatment, despite heavy pressure from many people to hold out for the vaccine. I know if I mention that word, I'm on thin ice here, but anybody who's watched any number of my videos will probably realize that this is a very keen area of interest for me. I'm unvaccinated, an opponent of lockdowns and masks and all the nonsense that started just about three years ago today. I've been very active in fighting that as best I can. I even filed a federal lawsuit against the state of New York. If you're interested in any of that, uh, I'll put some links in the description. But what I have here today is just a short excerpt of a six hour conference. It's the final minute of the conference when uh, Dr. McCullough tells us what we need to do. So I thought it might be of interest to some of you. Many of you probably have already changed the channel, but that's okay. If I get a link where you can watch more of this conference, I will post it in the description. What I want to leave you with is this. This is a decisive time. We're starting 2023. We're three years into this. How many more years is this going to take in your lifetime? How many more years is this going to divide your family and divide your schools and cause strife and consternation? How many jobs will be lost for no reason? How much more economic despair is going to occur? I wish I had the answer to that question, but when this all started three years ago, I thought the entire country had gone insane, something along the lines of the Salem witch trial. And if you know your history, that only lasted about a year, and then people came to their senses. So I figured, okay, maybe this will last a year, but no. I didn't reckon with the fact that this was not just a spontaneous outbreak of mass hysteria. This is a planned attempt to scare the bejesus out of every person in the country and the world. How much longer will it go on until the people rise up and say no more? And cause strife and consternation. How many jobs will be lost for no reason? How much more economic despair is going to occur? It's in your hands. This is your destiny. There's no better time to be alive right now. We're alive during the time of a great controversy. And all of us have been called. Well, not all of us have been called. But I would say most of the people in that room, which was very well attended, have been called and feel required to speak out and oppose the loss of our constitutional freedoms. Hopefully, in the end, that view will prevail. We're alive during the time of a great controversy, and all of us have been called to play a role in the resolution of this controversy. You're not just an observer, you are an active participant. All the world is staged. Indeed, we are all players. So join me and join us in Rochester. Let's bring this home. I'm Dr. Peter McCullough. Thank you so much. It really was exciting to see how many people turned out. Rochester's not a huge city, but they came from all around Western New York. Most of them stayed to the very end, a very long conference. You can see there's hundreds and hundreds of people there giving Dr. McCullough, a very enthusiastic reception. 
I also picked up uh, The Good Doctor's Book while I was there. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. He's been a hero of mine for the last three years, and when I got involved with my lawsuit, I asked him to be my expert witness, and surprisingly, as busy a guy as he is, he did respond to my email and said he would do what he could. Fortunately, I had the opportunity to say hello to him, shake his hand yesterday, and thank him for everything he's done for the world, and also thank him for agreeing to be my expert witness, although unfortunately, my case was dismissed over an issue of standing. I'm sure that if the judge had ever wanted to hear the facts of the case, he would have been quite impressed with Dr. McCullough's expertise and truth. I know this is a little different, not a musical one, but I wanted to get it on record for those of you out there who may be open to learning more about the truth. And there's many, many sources out there, but you can't find a better one than Peter McCullough. Hold it in the way.